So this one's on you to figure out what are you learning? What do you think it's about? And then we'll go and make sure that we have that understanding for you. Blended learning for me is to just get yourself on your own pace, but at the same time get your weekly homework done. We have um, pacing guides of the week, and so that will like tell us what we need to get done, but then we can also like go ahead of it if we need to. It's children being able to move at a pace that is comfortable for themselves uh, in a learning environment that is standard driven. One way to describe it is you get to choose what you do and when you do it. It allows them to not all be in the same place at the same time and once they gain a concept, move forward with the concept. And so like in my classroom right now, I have some kids that are working, we're still in quarter one, but are working halfway through quarter two. They can get help when they need it. Um, teachers find that they're able to be freed up to spend additional time with struggling learners. So it really is a great opportunity for students um, to have a personalized education. I'm in it because I'm independent and I like to try to figure things out on my own instead of like having others tell me how to do it and not giving me a chance and that's what blended learning does. Uh, there's different models of blended learning. There's uh, flipped classrooms where you actually, kids watch video at home and then what you normally do for homework you do in the classroom. And then there's other models like station rotation where you have rotations of kids so you have some kids working online and then you're working in small groups with other kids. We have seminars for all subjects, science, math, reading. Seminars, some of them can be optional because you don't need them and some of them are like required. So if I'm struggling in reading then I can go to the reading seminar and it will help me catch up. And you could actually have kids move through content at a self pace and they could be all over the place within the content, whatever you're teaching, and then you could intervene and have small groups, discussion groups and things as they're working one-to-one -on, -one -one on the computers. Computer time is, we call it PLT, and it's um, personal learning time. And so when we're in PLT, we, can, we get on the computer and we have all of our subjects on it, and we pick whatever one like, that we need to do that day. And so instead of the teacher delivering all the content, um, you use technology to deliver content. If an assignment is difficult or a question is difficult, there's on Blackboard there's videos that you can watch about, about it. Let's say someone who needs to watch a video, if it's online, to do the content can watch it over and over, can pause it, take notes. Whereas if I'm lecturing, they get one shot at it. It's just natural for them to look to videos and online resources for help when they're struggling with a concept. Um, that's how they're learning. Uh, outside of school. It's kind of getting you ready for when you have to do independent work without the teacher helping you. I chose to be in it because I'm independent and this gives you a really good chance to be independent. But just because you're independent doesn't mean you can't get help because the teachers are always there to help you. When I see them get stuck and they need help, I'm able to sit one-on-one -on -one with groups of three or four, or even individually, and help them work through a problem and the amount of um, success I see by that, how much confidence these kids build when they have a teacher that's able to take time to work one-on-one -on -one with them more often, I'm seeing a lot more growth in those students in their writing, reading, thinking, all of their skills. That's the beauty of blended learning, is that you can chunk your room, the kids can learn at a different pace. We're not all rigid as far as everybody has to wait and, and we have to um, allow students to sit and be idle with a concept they already get. It's going to be interesting as time goes on to see how people use technology to deliver content and what they do with it and how they organize their classrooms. One of Spokane Public Schools' strengths with blended learning is that we've spent the last eight years developing online curriculum for Spokane Virtual Learning. The curriculum is all at the same scope and sequence that it is in a regular classroom. And so what that gives us is an advantage for any secondary teacher who would like to use online curriculum in their regular classroom, or they want to actually start to use blended learning instructional strategies. It's such a new concept, and so um, there's a learning curve to it. And the district understood that, and so they allowed us this year to be able to meet together as a group and then use it in our classrooms. And the peer coaching aspect, next year we will, we will bring it back to our buildings and start using it with other teachers and allowing them and showing them how to use blended learning in their room. 
Blended learning is a natural next step to help all students to be able to um, learn at their own pace and to get the assistance that they need uh, just in time right when they're needing it.